Welcome to Decode. My name is Grace Erickson, and I'm going to talk about the headless WordPress tech stack options. A headless WordPress architecture disconnects the front end from the back end which opens up many possibilities for the technologies that a developer can use to build the client. The WordPress backend serves platform agnostic JSON data that can be used to create multiple web apps, iOS or Android apps, desktop apps, content management tools, and more. However, this leaves you as the developer with many more choices to make. To build a standard headless WordPress web app, a developer will need to select between WP GraphQL or the WordPress REST API as an API layer, choose from an ever-growing list of front-end JavaScript frameworks, potentially add a solution for building content models, and decide on a hosting platform. The flexibility of the tech stack options for headless WordPress can feel intimidating, so let's break down these choices and give our DevRel teams recommendations on the best path for headless WordPress developers. We're starting out with the API layer. The interaction between the WordPress backend and the custom frontend framework happens through the API layer. It calls the content from the WordPress backend and pushes it to whatever frontend technology the developer chooses. The two options for the API layer are the WordPress REST API and WP GraphQL. The REST API comes bundled with WordPress. However, the data access pattern that it requires can be slow for the developer. It requires multiple round trips to reconstruct a fully modeled post, for example. REST requires each resource to have its own endpoint. So to get a post's content with the author and category would be three separate API calls. WP GraphQL is a free plugin that provides an extendable GraphQL schema and API for your WordPress site. In contrast, WP GraphQL allows us to ask for a post's content with the author and category all in one request. This makes it much faster since it can return multiple resources in the same request. Because of this, WP GraphQL is our preferred API layer. Now let's talk about the front-end JavaScript framework options. A headless architecture gives developers the freedom to choose from any front-end technology stack, but front-end JavaScript frameworks are the most popular. Some of the biggest front-end JavaScript frameworks include React, Vue.js, Svelte, and Angular. But new JavaScript frameworks are being released all the time, so this list is nowhere near comprehensive. Many JavaScript frameworks are used in conjunction with meta frameworks that add solutions for things like routing and server-side rendering. React is used in conjunction with Next.js, Vue is used in conjunction with Next.js, and Svelte is used in conjunction with SvelteKit. Gatsby is another popular meta framework. WP Engine has developed Faust.js, a JavaScript framework that's built on top of React and Next.js. Faust was created specifically to support headless WordPress web applications. It supports authentication and post previews out of the box, provides convenient built-in React hooks for accessing WordPress data, and more. Because of this, our recommendation is to use Faust.js in conjunction with React and Next.js. Next, let's look at custom content models. When developing your headless web app, you may find that you need to add extra content fields or custom post types. This often requires cobbling together and configuring several separate plugins. The Atlas Content Modeler plugin is headless native so its integration is tighter and more straightforward due to its focus on headless. ACM allows developers to easily create content models and have them automatically added to the WP GraphQL schema. Because of this, our recommendation is the Atlas Content Modeler. Now let's look at plugins. When using WordPress, there are always tons of options for what plugins are available. The general rule for headless WordPress is that as long as a plugin does not touch the front end of the WordPress site, then it will continue to work normally. 
Good candidates for headless plugins will usually work well with WP GraphQL. As one example, the Faust WP plugin ensures that your WordPress site runs smoothly as a headless CMS. This includes things like smart content redirects and enabling post previews. Because of this, our recommendation is to use the Faust WP plugin and whatever else you need depending on your site. Finally, let's talk about hosting. Since your front end and back end are separate in headless WordPress, you would typically have to host each separately and configure them to communicate. Atlas is the only platform on which you can host both your headless WordPress backend and your JavaScript frontend app and easily manage both from a single dashboard. Because of this, our recommendation is Atlas. Overall, the flexibility in tech stack options is one of the major benefits of headless WordPress for a developer. While the decision can feel intimidating at first, Hopefully this video has helped you make educated choices about what you're building. Check out developers.wpengine.com for more headless WordPress resources. Thank you for watching.